Hello and welcome to the newest edition of SketchUp Quick Tips. Today we're going to look at a great plugin called Material Replacer, which is a great tool to use to get around one of the inherent problems in SketchUp's um, own paint bucket tool. And that is if you want to paint a face that's buried deep within a group or a component, you need to double click and double click and double click to get down to the face layer <coughs> before you can actually paint it with this new material and then to get to another face you need to paint you need to double click some more to get to the next face you need to double click some more is anybody counting how many clicks this takes get to that face you need to double click some more to get to that face double click some more so I don't really have time to do all this even one cabinet and if you look at the number of faces that we see here you can see it's going to take forever to change from all of them to white to this brown material without the use of an additional plugin. Okay, I just stopped the camera while I went ahead and double clicked on all these surfaces. It took me about five minutes of steady clicking to go ahead and make all these white surfaces brown. Um, it was a very exciting video, decided not to show it to you. But now we're back to the original surfaces and I'm going to show you a great fast way to do it using a plugin called Material Replacer. I'm going to show you how the plugin works and then we're going to go back and I'm going to show you how you can install it yourself. So a lot of plugins um, are underneath a drop down menu called Plugins which I don't have any installed on this computer so it's not showing me that menu. Um, but this one actually installs itself under Tools. Here it is Material Replacer. All I do is click on it, hover over a material that I want to replace and this is maple canvas vertical which is actually an inherent material in these craft made cabinets which came from the SketchUp library. I'm going to click on that then I'm going to go over and it's going to say replace maple canvas with whatever material I'm hovering over and this is a babinga wood. I'm going to click on that and watch. Whoa! <laughs> Was that fast or what? This is a great tool. So what exactly is a plugin? Basically a plugin is an add-on bit of software that extends the functions of SketchUp. One of the best things about the computer language of SketchUp called Ruby is that it easily allows other developers to create additional little tools that you can add directly into SketchUp and show up in SketchUp's menus. You could think of them as apps for the program. So I can show you how to install a plugin. I just went ahead and removed all the material placer files from this computer. If you look under tools, you'll see that it's no longer here. So where do you find plugins? It's not like the Trimble 3D Warehouse. Plugins aren't all nicely cataloged together in one place for us to find. You need to search for them and that's going to be the subject of one of my future blog posts. But for today, I know that Material Placer is found on a great site called sketchucation.com. This is a great site for you to bookmark in general. Um, under resources, it's got plugins we're going to look at, but they also have some great tutorials and Ketchup is their monthly newsletter which they have cataloged here which has um, also got some great information. So I'm already a member but if you're not a member go ahead and log in. It doesn't cost anything um, and I'll usually get again as a great monthly newsletters. So um, go ahead and do that. And then next we're going to look under resources and we're going to look at plugins which is going to pull you to this page so it's a little uh, hard to like navigate this, but I'm just going to show you to go down to Plugins by Author, and we are going to look for this great name, TomTom, Tom, who is actually, uh, that's a great moniker for his real name, Tom Thomason. And if we scroll down farther, here's Material Replacer. Go ahead and click on that. Okay. And here we are at the Material Replacer. So if you scroll down, you see a brief little tutorial about how it works, kind of like I showed you earlier. Um, here is kind of obscurely where the plugin zip file is actually is that we're going to download. But uh, TomTom says, uh, if you like this, give him a cookie. And uh, if you scroll down, it's not really relevant, but look at people have given him cookies to say thanks. Anyway, 
let's focus. I scrolled back up the page to back to this zip file and I'm going to double click on that. What happens is going to depend on which browser you're in. Right now I'm in Google Chrome which automatically puts it into a download file. Internet Explorer makes it even easier. Um, they ask you exactly where you want the file placed but I'm going to show you the more complicated way here. So now because there's a zip file I need to extract the files. Here I have the option to extract all files and then this is important part about where we actually put these files. So in Windows we're going to go to Computer, we're going to go to C Drive, we're going to go to Program Files, then we're going to go to, it's still Google even though um, Trimble bought it, then we're going to Google SketchUp 8, then we're going to Plugins, and that is where I'm going to put them. I'm going to go ahead and click Extract and I'll say OK. And now under that file um, navigation we have C, Program Files, Google, Google SketchUp, Plugins, and TT, Tom Thomas and Matt Replace, and TT, Matt Replace are now in my um, program files. So if you didn't catch that, here again is the navigation string for Windows as well as the navigation string for Mac about where these plugins need to be installed in your operating system. So if you go immediately back to SketchUp Pro, you still won't find a material or placer there. But don't panic. All you need to do is close and reopen your instance of SketchUp, look under Tools, and there it will be. There you go. Happy painting. Hope you enjoyed this tip, and we'll see you again.